And Senator John Cornyn made his way to Waco today to join community leaders in discussing the impact the CARES Act made in the area. Six News reporter Cole Johnson joined the senator today and has more on what may be coming down the line for COVID-19 relief. How are you, sir? Good. On Wednesday, Senator John Cornyn toured the Family Health Center in Waco. Flanked with community leaders, the main focus on the $78 million funded to the area. The CARES Act and related funding has provided a critical resource supporting our community's health. We are deeply grateful for the CARES Act funding and, and what it allowed us to do to help our students and their families. Of note from the CARES Act, $7.7 .7 million went to the city, 5.9 to Waco ISD, 20.7 million to local health care facilities, and 15.7 million to local colleges and universities. Quite a uh, perplexing and challenging few months. And the senator mentioned a push for additional funds. There's been a lot of back and forth on both sides of the aisle on Capitol Hill. Cornyn said they reached an impasse until recently when concern of post office funding came up. Cornyn mentioned the House moving on a bill soon, and if so, they will add popular consensus items like direct payments to people and the PPP extension. And we'll see if we can get it out of the Senate and then over to the House. Hopefully that will break the impasse. In McLennan County, COVID-19 cases are still popping up and deaths have risen over the last few weeks. This coming on the heels of back to school with Baylor students heading to campus and Waco ISD gearing up for students in person on September 8th. When asked about concerns over outbreaks at schools, Cornyn says the virus isn't going away. He thinks we'll be able to manage them and are in a better place than we've been. We're just going to have to learn to live with it, which means that there are going to be some uh, hot spots some, uh, when people don't socially distance, don't mask, don't do the things we all know now we need to do.